But how would you go about building a bond portfolio today? I think that's really tricky. I mean, most people aren't, right? Because the, there's such a disconnect in yields. I mean, you could, you could, if you're, if you're not, if you want to really, if you're going to be buying a house, you shouldn't be in the market right now. Well, and, and, and I think that, uh, it, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, both Phil, uh, uh, Fats and uh, Bobby, um, but currently I think Jim uh, and I agree that short-term yielding bonds are profitable. And until that error is corrected within the bond market, it wouldn't make sense for a, a large allocation to, let's say, long-term yielding bonds. And so currently on the, the total par portion that I would be allocating to my bond portfolio, it'd be highly po concentrated around short-term yielding bonds, Highly uh, profitable, so that I could turn over those uh, those returns um, after the maturity at a, a given at a given sector, or even back into let's say another yielding product that's going to be as safe in that sense, right? Especially in the context that I'm investing. Okay, to. yeah, but let's stop talking and let's just say, okay, give me your put in a trade ticket and tell me what you're buying. I mean, I okay, so in in Canada, in, in Canada, happens. yeah, in Canada, you can lock in. So for that two hundred thousand dollars currently in Canada, you can go into like GICs and different forms of uh, tax free uh, and put it into like tax free savings account, so that all of those uh, interest incurred uh, until that bond is matured is tax free. So essentially, all you can do is lock it in. I think he's asking. I think Bobby wants to hear some Q-sips. Like, what are you guys actually looking at? Right. I mean, I have a situation where a not-for-profit uh, did come across some money last year, over a year ago, and um, we are s slowly investing it. Oh, we've been slowly investing it over a period of a year and a half. Can you actually find homes for that? I mean, because it's not exactly easy to buy bonds at decent yields right now, right? It's no, not. but but we bought we bought. Look at what I'm saying is if I if I if I was given that money today, I'd probably maybe just start building the portfolio. And let's say I let's say um, I had a hundred thousand that I eventually wanted to I I wanted to eventually build a bond portfolio for a hundred thousand. That I'd probably be in the process now of uh, investing about thirty forty thousand of that. If it was me, and you know, I would start doing a blend. Um, yeah, ladder in. Yeah, la start. You can't, you can't I, but I'd start. To, I. That's yeah. exactly right. So put it that way. Let's 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 kind of build the outline for the ladder, and let's start deciding when are we going to fill in the rungs. Okay. And I think really that's that's the discussion. That's the cut to the chase discussion when you do all this fed talk and all that kind of thing because i can tell you that i've been in you know hundreds of investment strategy meetings and we, we don't sit around talking about the fed all day yeah i'm in banking so we sometimes do <laughs> yeah that's one of the corporate side i mean it's what's more about but it's all i mean to your point it's all execution based it's like what are you solving for right that's correct I mean, I mean, like, if if you want the discussion on the Fed, typically it's it's like, what, where, what's the what's the dot plot, what's the market pricing in, and what what do you need to do with the money when, right? Are you looking for T locks? Are you looking for, you know, what are you trying to accomplish with it? So that's kind of on my end, right? How I look at and it, and because I mean, once you once you start, I, in fact, I've been in in meetings where they say, you know, you, if somebody starts talking about the Fed and they cut them off. Because that just opens up the bottomless rabbit hole. Yeah, it's definitely not the, the way you want to lead the sales call. You know, if it's your if you're in corporate planning, it's probably important to talk about your your fixed float mix, right? I mean, if if you're looking at that, and you're looking at right your ROEs and locking those in. I think it comes way more into discussion. But I agree with you. I mean, like if you're looking for short term yields, you can't you cannot hide from yield destruction right now, right? You just have to know what your time horizon is and ladder it in over a period of time. Like I, I don't ever suggest anybody if, if somebody has two hundred thousand bucks, right, that they've saved for retirement and you don't need to touch it, then don't take it out of anything. Right? Just just but, but keep and, it and when people talk about the bond market and what do you think of bonds? That's like so, well, what do you think of people? Right? I, I don't I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> well, um, I mean if especially especially like ETFs, right? Bond ETFs, you just get destroyed right. in those when the market moves. 
Like, it's the biggest misconception.